Hey what's going on guys my name's Raph and welcome back to the channel. Pokemon Journeys will be resuming next week and with the special preview trailer giving us hype to look forward to there's a lot of exciting events to unfold. Besides this we found out summary details for episodes 93 to 95 and the title for episode 96 was revealed. Information from Passion and Media have also surfaced talking about the potential truth about Ash's goal in this series. There's a bunch of information to cover so let's jump straight into it. Don't forget to leave this video a like to show your support and I'll be sure to bring out my next video shortly. Make sure to subscribe if you aren't ready to keep up to date and without further ado, let's begin. Let's start off by talking about the summaries for episodes 93 to 95. Episode 93 is titled Your Name is Francois. The summary states the following. Sakuragi Laboratories aid Renji's Pokemon Francois the Magnemite is a very picky eater that only absorbs electricity from retro objects. Watching Francois eat makes Renji recall an incident that happened shortly after the two had first met. Meanwhile, Magnemite are going berserk in Vermilion City. Francois is in the danger as well. Can Ash and Go protect Francois with Renji's help? So despite us knowing the preview for this episode, we're finally going to get some focus on Renji. Kakuna already had her episode, so it's only right Renji gets his too. It appears we're going to get a possible flashback segment of how Renji and Magnemite met, maybe something similar to Clement and Bunnel being X and Y. I'm actually looking forward to this one. We then have episode 94, titled The Heracross Loss and Pincer in Love. The summary states the following. A Lilligant has just arrived in Sakuragi Park, and Heracross has become attracted to it. Pinsir gets saddened at the sight of this, since she's in love with Heracross. The depressed Pinsir starts thinking about things that might have been different if it had a pretty flower too, so Ash and Go decide to take it along and accompany Chloe to a Pokemon flower arrangement class held by Celadon City gym leader Erika, in order to cheer it up. Will Pinsir manage to win Heracross's attention? So immediately, we get confirmation of Erika returning to the anime after 25 years. It's not currently known if Chloe performing has any relevance to Erika's presence. However, we do know that evolutions will be shown, and there could be some relevance and relation to Ecritic City, the Kimono Girls, and Dance Theatre. Some believe Chloe performing could actually be in a completely different episode, but who knows. It's great we get to see Erika return, especially seeing as Ash and her didn't really manage to have an official gym battle. So maybe we'll see a future battle unfold between them. Moving on, we have episode 95, titled Farewell, The Wandering Rocket Gang. The summary states the following. The Rocket Gang spend their days focused on part-time jobs so that they can raise funds for their operations, and they're also completely sick of the missions constantly failing. They conclude that the failures happen because the Rocket Gatcher doesn't appear to have any strong Pokemon, so they decide to follow Pelipper in order to complain to those in charge. But on the way, they run into former fellow gang members Cassidy and Butch, which makes them start to think that there's more than life than just Team Rocket. What will happen now? Now we know 2022 of Pokemon Journeys was said to be given focus to Team Rocket. Whilst we don't know if they'll reconsider their ambitions, we for sure know that they won't be leaving. The Rocket trio are iconic, for not only being goofballs, but also being great developed characters. Even though we know that the anime could be in its final year, I'm sure that there'll be more to show for Team Rocket, especially seeing as Butch and Cassidy are returning now as well. Now let's talk about the new episode title and summary that was revealed. This being episode 96, Reach Space, and Frost's Light. The summary states the following. Sophocles has sent for Ash and Go to come to the Moss Deep Space Center in the Hoenn region. He tells them that him and Amphros are participating in a return project for the asteroid probe Talonflame 2, where the probe will be making its return with Amphros's Light as a guide. However, Amphros fails to turn its light on, and the shot makes it lose all confidence. Can Sophocles and Amphros make the project succeed without any complications? So it turns out that Sophocles will be returning again for the second time, matching Gary and Dawn's reappearances. It seems we're getting more continuity in relation to his goal, especially from episode 37, on how Sophocles wanted to become an astronaut and study the connection between Pokemon and space. It seems like a very fun episode, and a nice one that could possibly show more continuity. With Ash returning to Moss Deep City, maybe he could reference his battle against Tay and Liza. It also looks like that the Emperor's merch now has a match. Next, we have Telebi Kun, which showcases a recap of Ash's Pokemon capable of the Z-Move, Mega Evolution, and Gigantamax mechanics. A recap of the Legends Arceus Amazon Special Arc and PWC are also shown. Passion and Amidia are next, who as always, show off some nice art in relation to Alistair and the return of Butch and Cassidy, alongside confirming the return of their original voice actors. We then have this new album listing. It appears a new Pocket Monster themed song collection has been listed. Whilst we know the 25th anniversary of the Pokemon anime is approaching in April, it begins to question if this album is in relation to a new opening as well. We're still waiting for a new opening, especially seeing as now all of the visuals and events have been outdated from the current. It's not confirmed, but maybe the album could have a collection of all of the openings and endings to coincide with this anniversary, but we'll just have to wait and see. Now let's dive into the main topic of discussion, focusing on Ash and the future of the Pokemon anime. Before I begin, the details I'll be discussing are in no particular order. 
this is just pure speculation. So I've already made two videos discussing the future of Ash's time in the Pokemon anime, alongside what the possible outcomes could be should he win or lose to Leon in the PWC. I urge you all to go and watch those videos, as they explain a lot of information and possibilities. But let's talk about the current topic in hand. Today a new interview from Animedia with the director of Pokemon Journey spoke about the future of the series in 2022. In relation to the recent interview with the Pokemon Journey's producer, we know that Galar Pokemon and trainers will be introduced. This has been made evident from the recent Christmas special preview trailer, with Marnie and Pierce being revealed. We also know that Team Rocket will be getting focus, thanks to Butch and Cassidy returning in episode 95. As for Leon's personality, we can assume that this will be shown in future episodes, possibly revealing Hop in the anime, thanks to another interview acknowledging the siblings. Now as for Ash's companions and rivals, I've already spoken about how the creative team want to try and bring everyone back. Feel free to explore more of that in this video. With the PWC being the biggest competition, we may get a massive reunion of characters to see them all watch Ash take on Leon. However, this is where things start to look possible. Previous interviews have spoken about how Ash will slowly get stronger and more unbeatable over time, especially seeing as he now has the Trinity mechanics at his personnel. And this relates to a new interview which states the following. In 2022, Awada intends for the series to show off the different paths and challenges the main characters will take, especially Ash. Ash may have a slight change of ambitions, originally thinking he wanted to fight Leon, but then coming to an understanding of what he truly means to him in his own way. Go and Chloe will also become more clear of what they want to achieve with their goals. From what I understand, I'm starting to think that the director wants Ash to achieve his goals and possibly reach that desired level of becoming a Pokemon Master. Whilst there are many definitions of what a Pokemon Master may be, if Ash did defeat Leon, it could grant him one step closer to the status. On top of that, if he beats Leon, that would mean he'll be a new world champion, the strongest trainer in the world. The 25th anniversary of the Pokemon anime is approaching, and even though nothing of any sort has been confirmed, all of the details and correlations could really imply that maybe Ash's journey will start to come to an end. It really does depend on the context of these interviews, unless this really is the segue into Generation 9. But in general, this is something to be wary of. Time will tell. Additional information from the interview also states that the creators plan to make more serious captures in relation to the story. Also, the new Slowpoke episode has been confirmed for February, indicating that also the Japanese comedian Hiroki Kobari will be a guest voice actor. Finally, we have new merch. The cookie sets are back, but this time possibly relating to the Legends Arceus arc, and we see Shaman pop up again too, possibly implying it may be getting an episode focus on it soon. As for the supposed Go Cub Food capture, nothing really has been made evident about this. Yes, the Pocket Monsters 2022 calendar shows this Pokemon with Ghost Pokemon, but this is more of a visualisation effect, so we assume. Overall, 2022 is off to a great start with Pokemon Journeys. There's a lot to look forward to, and I'm excited to see how the future of the anime unfolds. But why not let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. If you guys would like to interact with me, then be sure to follow me on Twitter and join the Team PokerF Discord server to discuss all things Pokemon. You can find the rest of my social networks on screen and in the description below. And if you enjoyed the video, then be sure to leave a like as your support is greatly appreciated. Don't forget to share the video with your friends. Finally, make sure to subscribe to keep up to date with my videos and click on the little bell to enable notifications so you guys get notified when I upload a new video. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and be sure to stick around for more Pokemon content. Thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.